Hey there guys, my name is Adrian Brunner. Welcome to my Feed the Beast Unleashed series, this is episode 7. And today I'm going to show you how I am now collecting my materials. As I generally don't want to use a quarry in this world, and not even in a Mistcraft world. So let's go into first person, and I'll show you what I've been doing. So let's look in this bag. So you've got 25 diamonds there, 10, and the real resources I'm going for is coal and iron. And now, let me show you my pick. My pick is a manalium um, hammerhead with a manalium tough tool rod, a, a lot of lapis on there to give me a look uh, with fortune. And then haste is the redstone. Durability 500 is a diamond, and the durability plus 15%, sorry, 50% is an emerald. So let me just do F3H. Does that show me? Maybe not. Do we have to do it this way? It should show me that. You can see I have like maybe <laughs> 16,000 durability, and uh, yeah, it should do good. So, I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do down here. You can see it's quite a long tunnel and I have a lot of resources to mine out. Generally, at the moment, I'm just going to in a straight line. And uh, getting a lot of diamonds. Now, diamonds like these here, I'm just leaving. So I'm, back for it. I'm generally going to go about 500 blocks in one direction. Any caves that I uh, get into, um, I'm going to clear out. I generally place a um, torch every five or so blocks. Now, if you're playing the newest FPS, I'll just turn this down because of mobs. If you're playing the, the newest FTB Unleashed, you'll notice that balls generally um, spawn uh, in a, in a bit, well, generally spawn better. Well, not spawn. They generate uh, in bigger chunks now. Now I don't. Th I don't know if that's just me thinking that. Probably is. Oh hello. Oh hello. I was one behind, is it? Right, you can have that as well. Let's light this cave up a bit. I want to light these caves up as much as I can, so we've got some more diamonds there as well. Let's mine this out. We have got fortune on it, so we've got one off that one. A bunch off that one, a bunch there. So this is what I'm generally doing, just I'm after coal. Now the reason I'm after coal is because I want to use, I think it's the Rayocraft recipe. Um, let me show you here, we why I listen for mobs. Uh, where is it? These steel dust. There's one iron and four coal. So I need about... Eight stacks of coal, I believe, uh, for now. Oh, it's a geode. Now, I would recommend mining these geodes as they can have dark... What was it called now? Um, dark diamond ore, uh, dark lapis, emeralds. This geode seems fairly plain, but I'm going to place a torch in there anyway. And grab as many resources... As I can get, and I've made these mining bags now. I believe they're from forestry. Yeah, I believe they're from forestry. Uh, now, what these mining bags allow you to do is, when you're mining, they will generally pick up your ores and put them in a bag, saving your inventory space. And I'm also using the digger's backpack as well. Now, the reason I'm using the digger's backpack is because generally, when you're mining with uh, one of these hammers. You generally get uh, a lot of junk, meaning, you know, you'll get a lot of cobblestone, gravel, dirt. Uh, so I got these diggers backpacks here. So you can see I'm on, I've got two more left and my mine's backpacks are full and I'm starting my second two now. Now eventually when I have a applied energistics, what I'm going to be doing is... What I'm gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, whenever part of just generally what I'm gonna be doing is having a ender bag. Is it called an ender pouch? Now what the ender pouch will do is just basically suck all the items into the system, and I'll have a whole auto processing system that does that for me. 
But what I'm thinking of doing is having maybe single single smelteries uh, that work with one maybe one or two different types of ores and things like that. I'm gonna go mining for a bit. I'll come back and I'll show you what I generally got from this trip. And we'll move on. But I do need quite a lot of steel. As you can see, I'm gonna be pretty busy. I'm not gonna go too far. Um, I'm gonna go there. Okay, there's some dark. Oh, let me show you this. These are what spawn in geodes. Now we loot, we loot like we come into two that have merged together. Now we get this dark uh, diamond ore, which is basically just normal diamonds. And yeah, when I'm mining too, I'm going to be collecting these ore berries. Wow, this cave system is awesome. I'm going to have to come back down here um, some other time and mine up these geodes. But I'm mainly here for the coal and iron. So anyway, let me go on with mining for a bit. I'll meet you back in the base where we'll start making some steel dust and getting some steel together because I generally want to start on the boilers. Now for the boilers, I'm, I think I'm going to do two solid fuel and two um, liquid fuel. I could probably do more, but at the moment I'm generally um, not too, not too worried about you know the resources I've got. No, that really would make sense. Anyway, let me carry on uh, enjoying mining for a bit, and I'll see you back at the base, or I'll see if any if anything cool happens. Anyway, guys, see you then. Okay, guys, we're back at the base, and for now, I need to do a lot of smelting. Oh, wrong thing. So you can see here, I have a bunch of iron ore uh, in these two bags here, 46 diamonds in there, uh, another 46 there. Ah, that was when, really? 46? Is it me or is that bag, is that the same as the other one? How has that happened? Hmm. The bags are exactly the same. I switched. I did a shift click thing then. Um, I noticed this quite a while ago with these bags. Is this still happening? Hang on. Why does it keep showing me the same bag? I think I might have glitched this bagger or something. Right, so yeah, you can see I've got a lot of ores that need to be processed. Luckily, uh, this thing is fast. As soon as it's done this stage, um, by the time it's done that, it just flies through it. I'm thinking of making this taller. I'm thinking of actually swapping this glass out for panes as well. Um, let me just see if I break three of these and chuck the Where's my... Oh, dang it. Where's my other glass? Okay. Right, got the glass. Ooh, bit of frame right there. Ah, the skeletons and um, blazes are still on. They were... Yeah, they were going white. Weird. <laughs> they were going while I was mining. Um, I left them running. Um, I probably should go and stop them because, yeah. Oh no, you need six, don't you? Dang it. Yeah. So what I'm going to be doing now is just processing all these ores. I'm going to make a load of steel. Um, that'd be cool. How do I, I don't think you would do make it like this? But yeah, I'm going to make a load of steel now and process all these ores, like I said. And possibly maybe extend the smeltery. But I'm actually thinking of moving um, somewhere over there. And building a new, a sort of a new base eventually. But I'm still going to use these trees. Um, so yeah, that gold's done there. Gold there. How many gold in these bags? No, okay. Let me keep processing this for a while. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with you. And I'll show you how this chest is going on so you can see from here it's got a fit 
So yeah guys, we'll work, I think today we're going to work on, I'm going to show you over there, I might work on a little applied energetics, or I'm going to set up some boilers, um, and I think I'm going to have the boilers there, but I think I'm going to go for a circular shape. So yeah, let me get through this, and then we'll decide what we're going to do after I've sorted all these resources out. See you in a minute guys. Guys, I found a book. Watch this. 46 diamonds in my inventory. That one in this bag. This bag. This bag. And this bag. Now watch. I take the diamonds out. I go to this bag. I go to this bag. They're back. Take the diamonds out. See the bag. Nothing there. Go to this bag. Go back. Hang on. Now go to this bag. Open that bag. Go to that bag. They're back. I am now duplicating diamonds. I don't feel too good about it. I really don't. But, for now, I'm going to call Bug. And I'm just going to try and get rid of all these. And try and empty one of these bags. So, I'm going to pop down to my thermal expansion floor. And I'm going to put my diggers back backs in here. And get rid of any other inventory. Just to save, save space. And yeah, I could possibly be able to build a damn freaking tower out of this bug. Um, <laughs> I don't really, I really don't know what's going on. So what I'm trying to do is just try and empty my inventory. But watch. Okay, diamonds not there. Go back. Diamonds are now there. Really, really weird. So say I wanted to duplicate this coal. I'll go back into it. It's there. Duplicate the coal. Back into it. Like that. And that's how <laughs> these bags are duplicating. I don't know if it's because I have three of the bags. But it's really weird. Oh, look. And that inventory has no space. Okay. But if we go to this bag and then go back to this bag, it's there. It's really freaking weird. Because no matter what I do, I can't empty these bags. I cannot empty the bags. So, I'm going to try and not take advantage of this. As much as I want to, um, the only <laughs> the only real thing is if one of these bags had a lot of quartz in. Uh, yeah, I probably, I probably would do it, um, but I'm not gonna try uh, abuse it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can just clear about as much as I can. I mean, um. Um, is there a way I can make a diamond chest? Because I believe there is a mode I can take these out. Because I don't want to it, abuse it, guys, at the end of the day. Um, it's a bug. It's not intentional. So what I'll do is when I've emptied these bags, I'll have to... <sighs> God, I have to do it that way. I'll have to find a way of... I don't know, deleting the bags and then making them again. Um, and then see if it happens again whenever I go back. I'm not going to go mining for a while now. I think I'm pretty much good. Um, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm actually going to put these diamonds in here. And I'm going to switch this out and I'm going to put the coal in there for now. So no coal. Right, let me go finish this off, and hopefully I don't duplicate anything else without not without knowing. So, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> At least now we can get our tin really, well, not our tin, our steel really easy. So, yeah. I'll s <laughs> this episode's crazy. Sorry, guys. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, I'm going to report this. I'm going to try to find the mod that it's from, and I'm going to re report this bug, because I... This can be abused really heavily, so yeah guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, after crashing about five times trying to record this, let's try and finish this for for once. Um don't know what's wrong right now. Um I think I'm having Java problems. Um I think it might be the sixty four bit version of Java is it not really running right for me. Um I I don't know why that freaking farm is on again. That farm, I keep turning off, and I think my computer just keeps reverting um, to some like old, I don't know, some setting or something. 
It's really weird now. Okay, so we've got some of the stuff I need. I have got the Tesseracts. I actually made most of this on camera. Um, but yeah, after computer crashes, I've had blue screens of death. Um, really, really weird. Um, this computer I'm using is the same, literally the same processor. Uh, why is there skeletons in there? Why is that spawning? If I do that now, that'll stop. I'm finding little bugs in the game. The like the bags. Um, I had to delete my digger backpack. The bags you can duplicate items as you've already seen, and it also worked with the digger backpack. Um, I was filling up the the furnaces with cobblestone. And every time they refilled uh, my inventory slot with cobble, it also refilled the bag as well. Are them skeletons nearly gone? Okay, them skeletons are gone. I need to get a stack of bones from here for now. And what I'm going to do is do some type of lava tower. And I think I'm going to put it around here for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go five up with the lepidocs so let me just stack up a bit that should do and i'm not going to be building with yellow force bricks i'm going to be building with white force bricks that's why i need the bones okay so what we're going to do now here is i'm going to do this now so we're going to have that on there and then with the stack that side we could probably do 20 on this and then we're going to run a redstone conduit. There we go. I'm going to run a redstone conduit up the side. The stack again. I really need to get a jetpack eventually. Uh, okay. So now. What the hell? Uh, now we're going to just pop our engines here. Not like that. Uh, let me just wrench this guy. Gonna pop our engine on here. Let me see if I can get the hitbox right. Yeah. Then we're going to have engines this side as well. Okay, so that's 10 engines. And then here we're going to have our ender tank. This side. And then we're going to flip it. They'll start producing energy. Uh, once I give them an output, then we're going to bring the output here. We're going to have a middle bridge. So we don't need this. We're going to have a middle bridge here, which will start filling up, even though these aren't really in output mode yet. I'm going to do that. So they're all outputting energy. That's filling this. Uh, eventually, I will get rid of this, but for now, it's going to work. So here we're going to have a bit here where it says uh, extract, going on the energy test rack, then the energy test line is going to be device 1, um, and then we're going to call this one lava power 1, there we go, and this one's going to be sent only, set safe, okay, do I still have pulverizer, yes I do, Okay, that's working fairly good. We could get some redneck cable uh, and just like put a gate here on a couple of stone stretch pipe, give a signal, turn that off. But for now, I'm just going to leave it running there. It's okay. So that's going to fail. It's going to do its job. Uh, do I have a soul shard? No. Uh, let's get back to the base. I need to craft some of these force bricks. And. I don't think I'm going to be getting around to planning a I think I'm going to do most of that off camera. Uh, just, just a lot of crafting. And it's generally what you've seen before. If you've seen, you know, seen someone on YouTube do it. You've generally seen it all before. So I don't want to really show what someone else has already done. But I do want to show after I've built it and then how I'm going to use it. As most uh, people who are my subscribers have seen how I've used it in the past as well. Um, but if you would like to see stuff like that, let me know. Right, so we've got these white force bricks here. Let's just do a clean like that. Um, what we're going to do for now is... 
We're going to have some iron. No, do we want iron transport? Transport. Okay, I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to have a deep storage unit. Okay, we're going to craft four of these, I think. Deep storage unit. So we need four chests and some plastic. So we'll have some plastic sheets around here. Uh, none in there, none in there, none in there. Do I have any wubber? <laughs> uh, mm, nope. Right, let's go and just chop down a tree. One of my rubber trees down here. Do this quick as possible. Uh, Want to get this automated eventually. Going a little bit slower than I usually do on my series, um, just for infrastructure. Okay, so here I'm just going to track down three for now. That should do it right now. And I think um, when I start doing my farms for like rubber and stuff, uh, what I'll say is I'll say I'll get I'm going to start controlling farms of level emitters, and I'll say when a thousand rubber. Is harvested. Damn you! When a thousand rubber is harvested, then you then the farm turns off emit like emit a redstone signal if you go below this number. Okay, so now rubber, rubber, rubber. Uh, no, we don't need them ones. We need to go up here. Are you gonna let me up? Thank you. So. We're going to cook the wubba and drop the cobble back in. And oh, we have some plastic sheets. Perfect. Let's turn this off then. And then we're going to go to deep storage units. Uh, good enough that we have some uh, this harness. We need four chests, right? Dang it, what am I doing? Four and then we need tesseracts. So we got under pearls on us already. Uh, bit of plastic. Okay, so we're gonna need four of them. Uh, and then another tune tesseract is ten hardened glass diamond. Right, let's get four ten. Do we have any diamonds? No. Four ten and then a diamond. Uh, so here one two three four. Like so. Okay, then diamond. Ah, oh, this tree's getting annoying up and down, up and down. That's why I want a, a big base. Um, diamond. I just dropped a stack of diamonds on the floor. Yep. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. And then ten. have any diamonds on me do it more tin on me do it okay, got some more diamonds in here right oh the plastic can go away as well and let's go fill this guy up and then we should be able to make some deep storage units and i'll show you what i'm going to do with that so it's this one there we go and i'm just going to put these ender pearls in there for now as i always like to have this full here and this full but eventually i'll have something auto crafting all this for me come on Give me, give me the Tesseract, give me the Tesseract. We have an energy Tesseract, so we can put that over there. And I think I know I'm going to set it up, I think. So, uh, do, 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 over to the crafting table. Please, please. Thank you. Right, let's go and see if I can set this up properly for the first time. Uh, as this is going to be running pretty much constant, just to get as much bone meal as possible. So that'll be okay for now. I could possibly take five engines off. I don't need them that much, but right down here for this one. How am I gonna do this now? Do 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 do. I think here I'm gonna have energy tash racks. There's gonna be a lot of items on the floor in a second. And then, oh damn, and then here, pulverizer, and 
below the pulverizer. Oh shoot. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a deep storage unit. Okay, and then we're gonna have the output. I'm lagging really hard. Okay, we're gonna have input on the top and then output on the bottom. Okay, and then this is gonna receive from up, okay. Right, so now we need to turn this tesseract on. So what this will do is it'll keep this full it should keep this fully stocked with bone meal. So I should do that fairly quick. So what I can do here for now, I can just send these back through I think. It probably isn't going to cope as it just yet. But the despawn time on these is, is good enough so I shouldn't have to you know lose anything. So that's how it's going to be for now. It's just going to run like that. Okay, they're just going in the action. Wow, I've filled a barrel already. Okay. So here, uh, if, if I've got a full barrel, I'm going to... Well, actually, no. I'm actually going to empty that and put that as a deep storage unit. And I know it looks a little bit messy, but it's the way I'm doing it, it's, it's clean. Um... You know, I can put a storage unit on there, and then I can have a platter and just pull them over into there. So, I'm going to sit here for a while, um, getting rid of these bones. For now, I'm just going to put them in this chest. And there's a lot of bones. Okay, do I have the bin? Okay, so I can bin that, bin that. Okay. Oh, for now... I'm just going to take all these arrows out and then I'm going to fill, try and fill this deep storage unit as much as possible between now and next episode. So when all these bones are out of this chest, I will then, you know, fill, um, yeah, I'll then try and fill that barrel as much as possible. Um, I'm going to try and go for about maybe, I don't know, maybe 50,000 bone meal in here. So now we're up to about 460, which isn't too bad. It's working pretty efficient, pretty, pretty efficient right now. So that's more efficient. So then, like I say here, deep storage unit. Right, what I'm going to do now, white, <laughs> when I get this done, um, I'm going to draw out a new base plan and then show you and uh, possibly build it after the next episode and that then that's going to be the central command uh, where all the applied logistics systems going power is going to be mainly around here so yeah let me go and have a look at that and then i'll be back with a drawing plan basically so i'll see you then guys okay guys we're back I've built my little thing and I've been experimenting. I need to do a little bit of terraforming. This is a 25 by 25 circle. Um, eventually, I think I'm going to, you know, when we get really far into it, I think I'm going to build an observatory um, somewhere over there in the distance. Now, this here, um, at the moment, really doesn't fit because the entrance is that way and our base is <laughs> here um, obviously you have that over there which I think what I'm gonna do is if I do like fully move out the tree um, I really don't like I don't like having to ladders all the time so in the middle of here I'm gonna have to have a, a little bit where I can scope on a jetpack um, but I just don't like going up and down, up and down in the trees. But what I'm going to do as well is for the exterior is I'm going to get some slime trees. I'm going to chop them down, and I'm going to get some of the slimy saplings and put them in. And all I need to do now is do a bit of terraforming. I'm going to go around with some bone meal and bone meal the grass a bit. That always adds a nice effect. Most builders do it. Um, 
so yeah just by milling your grass really does make a difference uh, around the place because you get some nice flowers sometimes and it just adds a bit of texture around around your place basically so what I'm going to be doing now is just doing some general terraforming uh, around the around the area, and I'm going to kind of show you what I come up with. Um, now the idea is just to have these as half slabs, so you walk along. Nothing can spawn anyway because it's forced. Uh, any forced brick material, uh, nothing can spawn on it. Um, so you're totally safe there. Like if we go to F7 you'll see everything other than forced bricks can be spawned on so it's a great material to build out of as nothing can spawn on it and it generally aesthetically looks really nice and I'm actually not running a texture pack um, I actually thought I was uh, but nope I'm not running a texture pack so I think next episode I'm gonna run it run the texture pack uh, the texture pack is just fa faithful 32 bit and it's the 1.52 pack off um, Feed the Beast forums. If people want the link, I can put the link in the description. But for now, this is what the base is going to be. It's going to have a couple of floors. Not sure how the roof is ever going to be. It might just be a flat roof, uh, just glass or something, or just open ceiling. Um, but it's going to it's going to have the main floor at the bottom, which is going to fit in um, four boilers or or three. Depending on how I can fit them, there's going to be four boilers with a, a laser, um, mining laser, uh, well, mine factory loaded mining laser, which generates ores by uh, f by basically looking at the bed bedrock block and generating ores from that. Basically, that's that's the activation for it. It basically generates ore blocks. Um, so I'm going to be using that in the center. I'll get the exact centre, so 25 by 25, so it should be 14 by one way, 14 by another way. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. And I've got the circle of a size, if you'd like to know the site, I'll put that in the description, um, if requested. Uh, but it's generally simple. And, yeah, I'm going to light the build. Okay, so the idea was, we have a mining laser at the bottom, with a four boilers powering it. Or three, whatever. Uh, it depends where I can fit in. And the second floor is going to be the applied energistics floor and the machine floor. I ran out of force bricks. Yeah, and the machine floor. Let's just pop this off. So on that machine floor, we're going to have our applied energistics. We're going to have IC2. Um, yeah, IC2 power. And we're also going to have. Uh, female expansion machines, so things like making test racks and la de la de da. And the reason I'm going to go with industrial craft machines uh, for certain things, generally just because they're faster. Uh, another reason why is because generally with IC2 speed. Um, Speed is a big key, especially say I want uh, I don't know a mass fabricator crafted. Where's my two? I had two slime sapling. Where have they gone? Hey, I had two here and here, and I haven't removed them. Do they despawn? Oh. Was that what was missing? Okay, when I I had a lot of problems with my computer with crashing and things like that, uh, it said I kept saying Java problems, so it updated my Java a couple of times, never worked. And when I loaded this up, it said something about Mod Natura or something. So I'm kind of guessing it's something to do with that, why my two trees have gone. I don't know about that. I'm going to keep the little knees grow and getting more sap and more slimy things on them. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end it here for today, guys. Uh, I know it generally hasn't, there generally hasn't really been a lot, I suppose you could say. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with what we've done. And that cow farm, for some reason, the cows keep escaping with them. Uh, bibliocraft fences, I think they're called. Um, but yeah guys, I, I'm definitely going to leave it off for now. I hope you've enjoyed. 
let me know. I'm sure next episode is going to be a lot better. Uh, I'm just very frustrated at the moment with my PC. Um, you know, it's something I'm on 24-7 and it has to work. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.